Hi, my name is Lorenzo, and this is my submission for FBLA Computer Game and Simulation Programming for the year 2022. My game is called The Adventures of Jim the Wizard. So my inspiration for this game was Super Mario Bros, which came out in 1983. I grew up playing these games as a child, and so I was able to look at the difference between each and every game, but they, also, they always contained the same element, which was running through the obstacles, fighting enemies, and eventually meeting a boss, which I really enjoyed. And so that gave me the idea to create this game. The software I used to develop my game was Game Maker Studio 2. This engine uses GML, which is its own coding language. This language is easy for beginners to understand. And there are also tutorial and guides online, which are able to help you out. Even if you don't understand the coding at first, there are also people online on forums willing to help you out. Originally, I was set on using Unity, but after I did more research into it, I learned that Unity was better for 3D platforms, but Game Maker Studio 2 was better for 2D games. And so knowing that I also had easier code for me to learn, I used Game Maker Studio 2. Here, here are some parts of my code, which I'd like to share with you. First, we have an example of the fireball shooting. Whenever my character clicks left mouse button in this if statement, they'll shoot a fireball. Some of the code here also creates a bullet at, on the bullet layer and also plays an audio whenever it happens. There's also a cooldown that I set so that my, par my player wouldn't be able to spam fireballs every second. Here are the, some of the more important codes on the right here. First is her horizontal collision which basically allows the player to not pass through the walls. It stops them from going through the wall objects I created. And here, down here, we have the vertical collision, which basically makes it so that the player can't go through the ground. Some challenges I faced and how I got around. Basically, if you can see my green goblin here, which is the enemy, I wanted to create a movement for it that would make it go back and forth. Originally, this worked well on the ground, but then on a platform, the green goblin would just fall off every time. And so I needed to think of a solution to keep it on that platform. I later learned how to use invisible blocks, which would block its movement. Basically, I, these are the same thing as the walls in the game, but I made it so that it only affects the green goblins and that they can't pass through it. So basically it would run into these white blocks and just bounce back and forth, back and forth. I also wanted to make the enemies face different ways whenever they bounce off because I wouldn't want my enemy just keep facing left the entire time. And so the solution was, for this was whenever they bounced off the invisible blocks, they would change their sprite to a right facing sprite or a left facing sprite. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the results of my product. I've always thought about creating games as a kid, but I never would have thought that I actually went out there and created it. I'm also glad to see that my hard work paid off and now I can show others, brag about it, all that. So now let's get into the game. First, here is my GitHub, which basically has the exe file, which you click to install. And here I've already installed the game. Let's look through it. The Adventures of Jim the Wizard. Start game, scoreboard, how to play, quick game. To use the interface, you use the arrow keys to move down and up the menu. You click space to select a choice. Let's look at the how to play. Let's see, A is move left, D move right, space jump, left click shoot. I'll enter to full screen. Let's try that right now. And so you can see it, the game is now full screen. Also, you can click I'll enter again to just unfull screen it as well. Let me turn up the volume so I can listen to the music in the background that I added. Let's start the game now. Level one. So find the doors and beat the boss. The score is zero and the lives are three. So you can see the green gums are here moving around and I can shoot fireballs at them to kill them. You can also hear sound effects whenever I shoot these. So now I'm just gonna try to progress through the level and get to the next level and show you the door that transports me to the next level. As you can see, my score increases by 100 each time I kill one of these monsters. And so I can later add this to my scoreboard whenever I finish the game. So this is the door, it teleports me to the next room. As you can see, some of the mobs are also stretched and compressed, just for fun. I just wanted to make them look different from each other. I didn't want the same, same characters running through my level. And so I wanted to give them variety. 
As you can see, the invisible blocks are doing their job at preventing these mobs from falling off the platform once they hit it. And we can't see it as a player either. So here's me progressing through the level. As you can see, it provides a challenge for the players, but it's not too hard for them to get through. And those are the doors I have to pass through for the final level. And so this is the boss, the Apple Wizard, which Jim the Wizard has been trying to fight. As you can see, I coded it so that Apple Wizard teleports around and also makes apples drop on your head, which will kill you if it comes. I also made the Apple Wizard flash whenever they take damage. And so the Apple Wizard has a set amount of health that you have to whittle down with your fireballs. And you have to avoid the obstacles while trying to get to it while it teleports. As you can see, we won, and here's the winning screen. So let's try the queue to submit score. So basically popped up and wants me to enter my name. Let's enter me. Okay. And so let's go to the main menu to check out the scoreboard and see it. If you look at it, here's the menu and here's me. As you, since this game stores the local data in my game, in my game files, I played this game before and obviously I've been on the scoreboard. And so click backspace to go back. And so yeah, that's basically my game. And you can also use S to quit the game, or you can click space on this quick game. That is my game for FBLA, Computer Game and Simulation Programming 2022. Thank you.